the IRS still has apparently more than 10 million returns from last tax year that they still haven't processed. And here we are in February in the next tax year. So people who filed last year for 21 millions still haven't had their returns processed. In fact, at one point, the end of last year, there were maybe more than 30 million unprocessed returns. You try to call the IRS, your chances of reaching an actual live human got about a 1 in 10 chance, maybe even after multiple phone calls. I mean, this is a mess. And, you know, there's been a lot of fuss about the money that the U.S. House wants to strike from the IRS's budget because they're uh, doing a targeted enforcement program with additional money that Congress allocated last year to go after tax cheats. But what about just taking care of regular taxpayers? Okay, how much of the money in the new allocation that Congress passed, according to the Wall Street Journal, all right, you're gonna love this, 4% of the money is going to improve customer service at the IRS. Almost all the rest is for either updating computer systems or for the new enforcement effort going after tax cheats. So we got to come up with a better way. You know, we are, with the way we handle income taxes, we are the definition of insanity doing the same thing year after year and expecting a different result. <coughs> Absolutely bonkers. Okay, so I want to share something with you from research done by Barron's. How many countries have gone to something I first talked about, gosh, I, I guess 10, 15 years ago, what's known as return-free filing? I mean, Krista, that was so long ago and us working together on the then radio show. Right. I, I don't know, I was at 15, whatever <laughs> years ago. Because country after country after country now has a system where you don't file a return anymore. You just get a refund or a bill with, with a detail of the explanation of why you got the refund looking at your, it's almost like a, a spreadsheet showing this was your income from this, this was your income from that, this was your income from the other thing, and this was the money you had withheld, and so we owe you X numbers of euros or whatever currency it is, or you owe us this much, and please pay your bill. Sounds simple. Sounds simple. So simple that... 36 countries now do this. I talked about it when it first started. And guess what? When did it start in the first country to offer return-free tax filing? What country is it? Well, first of all, it was the United Kingdom. Okay. And when did they start it? I wasn't even born yet. Oh, wow. Wow. It was that long ago. It was in the 19... <laughs> Not that it's that long ago. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, my kids really believe that I went to school dodging dinosaurs. I'm so old. That Did recent? See? Wow, that was very recent. <laughs> the dodging dinosaurs. So, I mean, think about that. The 1940s, England came up with this, or United Kingdom. And now country after country after country but us. Okay, so here's the funniest thing. How much was allocated towards the uh, stuff required to implement 
return-free tax filing in the United States in that tax law passed last year. $15 million. Wow. So $80 billion for the IRS, of which $15 million was for going to return free. I mean, it is crazy. I mean, those of us like me own my own company, uh, companies, um, have all these investments all over the place and all that. I'm going to have to file a return. I'm going to have to do paperwork. In any of these other countries, I would have to do all the paperwork. I would have a CPA who does tax. And I'm getting to the first thing I said, how do you decide who you hire? So my situation is very complicated. There are those among us who have complicated tax situations. Most people don't. And it's beyond, it's beyond stupid. I mean, it's just stupid that here we are in 23 and we're still filling out these idiotic tax forms. Because I would say 80 plus percent of people could do return free. And, and I know there are people in the United States who worry that the government would cheat us on calculating our tax. But that's why the documentation provided back to you with your refund or your tax bill is key. And so these systems are trustworthy. And they're a lot easier to understand these statements you get than our crazy, bizarre tax forms we have in the United States. So that's my hope, is that we will adopt something modern instead of doing this bonkers thing we do with all the paperwork for most people. But going to the core of how you decide who to hire. If you have a complicated situation, you have a lot of investments, uh, you have things going on in your life that involve a lot of additional schedules. You give a great deal of money to charity, a variety of things. You would benefit potentially from tax planning. The most overlooked thing by business owners and more affluent people are moves you can make in a current tax year that will save you money when you file your taxes the following year. I can tell you every enrolled agent, which is another category other than uh, CPAs who do tax, every enrolled agent, every CPA who does tax will tell you that they wish their clients would talk to them about things going on in their lives when they're going on instead of when it's time to start getting the stuff together for doing their taxes the following year. Most taxpayers will do just fine with the free file program of the IRS that almost nobody uses. Where you go to irs.gov, you click on free file, you see which software programs you can use from traditional outside companies to prepare and file your taxes. Your federal's free if you live in a state with a state income tax. You may or may not have to pay, depending on the provider you go with, for preparing your state tax return for you if your state has one. And so the people who need professional help are people with complexity. If you don't have complexity, you're fine almost always with the free file software that is good for most income earners. Beyond that, you can buy tax software, and it's not expensive to prepare your return. 